Hello all, welcome to part 16 of API testing training series. In this session, I am going to explain the different ways in which API documentation is shared to start the API testing. Okay, who will share this API documentation? Developers will share the API documentation. To whom they will share? To the software testers they will share. Why they will share? So that the software testers can perform the API testing. So what are the different ways in which the software developers can share this API documentation with the software testers so that the software testers can start the API testing is something I'm going to explain in this session. So let's get started. So what are the different ways in which the software developers can share this API documentation with the software testers so that software testers can start API testing. Without that, software testers cannot start the API testing. Okay, without receiving this documentation, API documentation from developers, it's not possible for any software tester to start testing the APIs. Okay, so the forms of receiving, okay, the forms of receiving API documentation in real time from software developers, okay, how the software testers are going to receive the API documentation in real time from the developers. Okay, so without this, Software testers cannot start the API testing as I already mentioned. So let me reveal all the different ways in which uh, the software testers will receive the API documentation from the software developer so that they can start performing the API testing. These are the different ways guys. Excel sheet, okay? Uh, this is the details about the APIs uh, and all those stuff will be provided by the developers uh, and documented in the form of Excel sheet and provided to the software testers. They can also provide the same in Word document, okay? They can share a Confluence page, okay? They can share this API documentation uh, by documenting that uh, API documentation in Confluence page. What is Confluence page? So there is a company known as Atlassian, guys. Atlassian has a lot of tools. Confluence is one of the tool, guys. What is this Confluence? Here, this is a Confluence is a place where uh, the team can communicate, okay? Uh, it's a kind of workspace kind of thing, you know, right? Uh, work, uh, online, social media kind of uh, thing for workplace, okay? Not for, uh, uh, if you go with social media like WhatsApp or Facebook or uh, Instagram, right? Uh, the kind of uh, sharing that happens is completely different. Uh, there, our personal life, day-to-day uh, -day images, uh, what's going on, achievements, and all those things will be shared in them. But in Confluence, only the work-related things will be shared within the team. Okay, as you can see here, whatever the work these developers are doing, these testers are doing, or any other team members who belong to the project are doing, right? They are sharing within each other, okay? They are communicating, they are approving, they are, you know, right, discussing, okay? They are documenting, they are documenting and uploading the documents, okay? It's a kind of central place where a lot of things can be done by the team. So whatever the documentation can be uploaded, uh, communication can, uh, they can communicate over uh, comments, they can comment on the things, okay? Or do uh, write down things, write down comments or whatever it is, okay? They can share the things and all the stuff, okay? So they can plan the stuff and a lot of things are possible with Confluence, guys, okay? Atlassian is providing this Confluence tool. So maybe if your company, if your project is using uh, this Atlassian related tools, right? They may provide uh, the API, the developers of this, uh, the, uh, the project may provide the API, API documentation in this Confluence page, okay? Fine, okay? So then we have Swagger, guys, okay? Swagger is a tool, guys. Swagger is a tool uh, whose main purpose, whose primary purpose or main purpose is for documenting the APIs, okay? So not all times you will get, in, uh, get the documentation in Swagger, guys, okay? Most of the cases you will get in Excel sheet or uh, some website page or something like that, but uh, uh, in some projects, okay, in some pro uh, in some projects where the process is uh, too much followed and the project size is very big and all, right, such kind of companies, you may see the API documentation shared by the developers to the software testers in, in, in this tool known as Swagger, okay, uh, which will make the documentation part uh, more better, guys, okay, so rather than documenting in an Excel sheet or Word document or any other thing, any other way, Swagger is the better way, okay, easiest way or uh, a kind of uh, good way, okay? The best way of uh, sharing the documentation for API, okay? Tool which is primarily used for documenting APIs is Swagger tool, okay? Not always this will happen. So only few companies, uh, okay? If you are entitled to come across such kind of projects, you may see the Swagger uh, being used as a tool for sharing the API documentation with the software testers by the software developers. Then we have the URL pages, custom pages, guys, okay? Uh, uh, if a company is not using any tools like Confluence page or so, uh, they may have a custom web pages where uh, the doc documentation for this API will be shared, okay? The company has its own website or something where uh, the sharing happens, okay? They can do that, okay? You know, they, they can share a page where which contains all the documentation of the API, okay? Website pages. 
so or uh, there may be you see a lot of uh, projects nowadays or okay using this uh, test management tools in the market like alm test trial lot of test management tools are there guys okay the list is very big so whatever the test management tools are there via the test management tools also this api documentation can be shared by the developers to the software testers okay these are the different ways guys okay any of the ways the developers may follow based on the company and the project they are working on and the process the company is following so different ways the developers may choose for sharing the api documentation with the software testers so that software testers can perform or start with api testing okay what does this api documentation contain okay what does this api documentation contain this api documentation contains the api that you are going to test the input data expected output data and api method if i have to give an example for all this uh, sections here okay all this uh, uh, sub items of this contains section here okay so let's go to one of uh, the website that we were already started using uh, request.in request uh, response.in so here you see guys uh, if you take any example here, okay any 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 example here, any any of these apis you take from here to here list users to uh, delayed response any any for example let's take the first one itself so here what is the api that it, where that we are going to test api is nothing but this particular url guys okay a, uh, the full url you will get here okay request dot in slash api users question mark page two is a api okay so in the api documentation what will be there this particular api okay that url whatever i showed you just now right full url will be there then second one will be either full url or this uh, only this much of amount of url also may be there okay they may not provide you the entire url they may provide you partial url because you know what is the domain and all those stuff okay so input data input data is uh, in this case uh, this particular api is a get uh, get kind of thing and it doesn't have any input data you are not passing any data while uh, requesting this api you got a response you got the result but uh, not passing anything if you go to one of the things like another uh, api method like register successful here okay here api api is this one uh, request dot in slash api slash register is a register user related api so register successful related api along with that api request you are passing along with this particular api request uh, along with this api you are passing this input data input data is this one okay you are passing the email address and password okay and expected outcome is expected response is uh, this status code okay in expected outcome uh, we will get some data along with the status code also okay and also along with the status code you will get some how much time the server took to give the response and all those stuff okay so this is the response we got okay this is the input data this is the output okay this is the response we got okay so what is expected output what 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 is what we have to input what what should be the expected output when you input this data okay what is the api that you are going to test and what is the api method okay what is api method here this is a post method right for example register successful is a post method whereas list users is a get method here get method okay like that this kind of information will be documented in this excel sheets like api method api url that you are going to test whatever the input data you have to input what is the output that you should get all these details will be documented by the developers and not just for one api guys for all the apis that software testers have to test right for the functionalities of the application for all that uh, different functionalities of the application okay a detailed list of uh, api documentation will be done with all these details and documented in the form of different ways here that i explained already and shared with the software testing team so that using the documentation okay using this documentation testers will treat this doc api documentation as a kind of requirements okay as a kind of requirements only and then start testing according whether the APIs are work, working according to the documentation done. Okay, they are working or not. The testers will test. And if any deviation is there from the uh, in output or whatever it is, okay, while testing the APIs, testers will report the defects. So this is what is API documentation and the ways in which the developers will share this API documentation with the software testers so the software testers can start testing. So hope guys you understood uh, the different ways. Okay, that I explained in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session. I'm going to and uh, I'm going to explain another API testing concept for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.